Our mobile devices are becoming more and more important in our everyday lives. We use them to store everything from credentials for social media to our email and chat services. Not only that, some of us even use them as our everyday wallet. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Here are a few ways that you can secure your Android powered device from unauthorized users. This is my Nexus 4. I'm rooted and I'm running CyanogenMod 10.2 nightly, which is Android 4.3. So yours may be slightly different. I'll show you some of the features that this has that yours may not. What you're looking at here is my lock screen. Shows me how many notifications I have, some signal status, battery strength, who my carrier is, and a, uh, a lock screen widget in this case, the time and the date what my battery charge is and whatnot. Now I can slide to unlock, and with this one I can slide it and just unlock it to my home screen, unlock it to messaging, to music, to my dialer, or right over to the web just with a simple swipe. And that's not just me, that's anyone. So if I wanna go right over here, there's my home screen and I'm in. There's really no security to this, it's just kind of keeping me from accidentally dialing someone on accident or going through uh, messing up who knows what just by having it in your pocket and getting inadvertent screen taps so let's go ahead and see what real security options we have i'm going to pull down the notification tray there and go into settings we'll scroll down to security now yours may look a little bit different than this depending on what version of android you're using if it's uh, htc versus samsung versus lg or whatnot so take this information as a starting point just know that yours may be a little bit different this is what we're focusing on right now. It is the screen lock, and there's lots of different things that you can use here. You can do none, which means you turn the power on and it's on. You don't have that accidental butt dial protection like I showed you with the slide to unlock, which is the next one. So here is my slide. That's all it does. No options. You just select it, and there it is. Next one up is face unlock. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. Pattern Pattern is a really, really nice feature. You basically get a series of dots on your screen. You connect the dots, and if you get the pattern right, it unlocks your device. Your pattern can be relatively simple. It can be very complex. It's up to you. The default is a 3x3 three three pattern. Some devices will let you do a 4x4, four four, and as you can tell, this version of CyanogenMod lets me do a 6x6. Six six. That's crazy. So let's do a 5x5. Five you can see how many dots we've got here. We'll go ahead and draw a pattern, and I'm just gonna do something basic, and hopefully I can remember this. You set it up once, you uh, come back in here, you uh, see I've forgotten already how, I, I don't remember where that was. It tells me that I didn't get that pattern correct. So let's go back, we're gonna start all over again. Come back in here, we're gonna do a pattern, we're gonna do five by five. I'm just gonna come in here and do that way, just like that, continue, that way, just like that. Obviously not a very secure pattern, but maybe a little bit more secure than just a three by three. You can see how many more dots that I've got. We'll confirm that. There we go. Everything's awesome. We'll turn that off. I've got a little bit of a, uh, a timer set, so it's not gonna lock for about 10, 15 seconds. So we'll just pass some time here and then turn it back on. There is now our pattern. So we can do stuff like that. Ah, oh, that's not it. We can do this. That's not it either. And eventually it's gonna lock us out. This is a very basic way of keeping people that aren't authorized to use your device from using your device and still let you do that. Now, there are some options that you can use here on your pattern. You can make the pattern visible, which is the default, or make it not visible, so people looking over your shoulder are not going to be able to see what you're doing. If you want to see the pattern error, like you saw there, where I scribbled on the screen and it showed me, no, this is actually what you swiped, not the correct pattern, but something else, that's what that does. I like having that on just because sometimes it's nice to know where you thought you were going and what it actually did. Show pattern dots. Again, this may vary based on your device, so if you don't want to see the dots at all, there you go. And then automatically lock five seconds after sleep. So I told you it was like 10 or 15, it was really only five. And if you want the power button to automatically lock, you can do that versus just having the screen time out. If you want the power button not to instantly lock and have it fall back to this five seconds right there. That's what that is for. 
Next up is arguably a little bit more secure and uh, to get to it we're going to have to uh, put in our previous security to change it. Now that in itself is some security but if you've forgotten your pattern for example it's going to be a little bit interesting. So the next thing we want to do is a pin. Pin is very simple. We're going to do one, two, three, four. That sounds like the combination that somebody would have on their luggage. We're going to go ahead and continue. We'll put the code in again. Again, not very secure here. We'll say, okay, there we go. Power off. We've got to wait that obligatory five seconds. And then we'll turn it back on. And it's asking us for the pin. One, two, three, four. And then enter. Next up is a password. We're going to choose our password as pocket now. And hopefully I spelled that right because I can't look at the camera and the screen all that well. But if not, we'll uh, see. I, I don't even know where I am because I'm trying to type and talk at the same time. C-K-E-T-N-O-W. Okay, and if I got it right, we're great. I didn't. So let's cancel out of that. Let's set it up again. Do that really fast. We'll choose a, uh, a shorter password. How about just now for the fun of it? Now is too short. Let's do, delete that out. We'll do pocket now again. N O W, just like that. P O C K E T N O W. Okay. So there we go. Now we've got that set up. When we turn it back on, I'm going to turn this so it's a little bit easier for me to get to. I didn't wait the full five seconds, so it's uh, throwing me right back in. That's a nice feature, by the way. I really like that, where you can set your timeout, your screen timeout. Turn it on now. We'll go ahead and put this in here. You can see I do not have my swipe to complete. I have to manually key it in, which is not a bad thing. It just takes a little bit more time to do. And done. Nope, that wasn't it because I fat fingered it. Now you're noticing the letters are showing up here. So someone looking over your shoulder could see what your password is and just kind of figure it out. You may not want to do that. So keep that in mind. Next up is one of my more favorite. Now to get to that again, we've got to put in the previous password and that is face unlock. Now this isn't going to work all that great with the camera. We'll do the best that we can. I use this all the time. You've got to use it in conjunction with a pin or a pattern just in case your face isn't working. So once you come in here, set it up, it gives you a quick tutorial, hold it at eye level. We're not going to be able to do that. So I'll just do this and maybe you can see that. You've got this ring of green that comes all the way around and it's doing some facial recognition. You'll also see I've got those errors popping up and down. It doesn't like it because I'm talking and I'm moving. So what we're gonna do, here's that pin or pattern. We'll do a pattern, we'll do a three by three, and we're just gonna do that because it's simple. It's gonna ask for that again. Now, if it doesn't recognize you, you're gonna have to put in your pattern to be able to do it. So let's go back in here. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is improve face matching. Record a couple of these. Guys, if you often have some scruff on your face, you'll definitely want to uh, to do this with and without scruff. Do it in different lighting, do it holding the camera in different ways. Uh, I like doing it in the car and doing it at work so that in each one of those different areas, it kind of knows who I am. I'm gonna try and hold still a little bit here while it recognizes me. And the more of these that you put in there, the faster it's going to get at unlocking your device. So very, very simple. Uh, we don't want the pattern visible. We're going to do the same five seconds, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to turn this back on for brevity. And I'm going to show you this here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and turn that off. It should have instantly locked now. I'll turn it back on. It warms up the camera looks at me and just like that I'm in. That actually took a little bit longer than normal because of the lighting and the way it's working here on the camera. Usually it's a lot faster to unlock than that. And if it doesn't unlock, you just put your pattern in and everything's fine. Now one thing, one easy way to overcome this security measure is with a picture. 
if someone has a picture of your face and holds it up in front of the camera, it will unlock because all it's doing is checking to make sure that that face matches whether the face is actually on your head or in a picture, it doesn't care. That's where this comes in, this liveliness check. So we'll go ahead and check that. We'll lock everything up. We'll turn it back on. It's going to try and recognize us and it's going to make us blink. And it didn't see us blink, so now it's gonna ask for the password. We'll go back in, turn that off, turn that back on. Again, this is where lighting is very important. And again, didn't catch the blink. I don't have much success with blinking. I don't know if it's me or not, but let me rephrase that. I can blink just fine. I have a hard time with this detecting my blinks. So we're going to turn that off. Just be advised that if you are turning the liveliness check off, you're adding a, a little bit of extra ease to someone's task if they want to try and break into your device. So as you can see, setting up some very simple security on your Android powered device is not that difficult and it doesn't add that much inconvenience to your everyday routine. The inconvenience that you do have, although slight, is definitely much more convenient than having all of your social media and maybe even your wallet stolen and used by anyone out there who would have access to an unlocked device. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so so you can keep up to date on tips, tricks, solutions, reviews, news, and so much more. For Pocket Now, I'm at Joe Levi on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.